Today we find out which POW makes the ultimate glider in POW World. Let's get to it. So there are a lot of different glider options in POW World and I quickly discovered that the ones you actually craft are complete trash. And when I started messing around with the POWs that allow you to glide, I noticed that they all have different abilities that make them unique in their own way. But I wanted to know which one was the best. So I did my usual of creating a series of tests and putting each one of them to said tests in order to find out. But before we get into the test results, I do want to point out something here that is very important. I tried to be as accurate as I possibly could, but this game does have a lot of jank to it, so the results may vary ever so slightly here and there. So the first thing I wanted to see is which one of these pals could glide the furthest with their base stats. So I did not have them condensed. They had zero stars. They were right out of the box the same. They were different levels levels, but different levels don't seem to matter. I tested two birds that were drastically different levels and they flew the exact same. Also, from what I can tell, weight doesn't make a difference as long as you are not overweight. As long as you have the ability to jump because if you are overweight, you cannot jump, you will fly the same distance no matter how much weight you have on you. I started by building a long pathway so that I had a specific path to follow, so I knew I was flying as similar with each of them as I possibly could and then I ran up a flight of stairs jumped off the flight of stairs and I glided as far as I could glide and then I marked where I landed at this allowed me to easily figure out how far each of these could fly and where they would land at as you can see on the screen the mega glider that you can craft is absolute trash the ray which is the lowest level pal that you can get a hold of that is a glider will fly significantly further it is then followed up by the squid, then the bird, and then the one I'm calling arms because it's just a set of arms. But you'll also notice that arms and the bird are very close together. Now, the interesting thing about this is when we look at all of these side by side, the bird is actually the first one to land. And that is because out of all of these, the bird is significantly faster. Arms will carry you further, but it is much slower and and if you're not careful, you can actually end up taking a bunch of fall damage because you can easily stay suspended in the air as long as you need to stay suspended in the air because every time you reactivate it, it raises you up even further than it was the last time. It takes your base wherever you are at height wise and then raises it to whatever it raises it to. It does have a peak, so it goes in a large arc, but by putting it away and re-equipping it, you you can increase the height of that arc. This is very handy for doing things like getting to high locations that you want to get to without needing to climb. It is a much faster and smoother ascent because you don't run into all of the nooks and crannies in the map that you run into when you are trying to climb a location. One really interesting thing I noticed is if you look at all of these in their flight path at the same time, they all burn stamina the exact same. So stamina is not a factor here. The only factor here is how each of these pals themselves flies. I do want to point out that stamina does come into play, but that is only when you condense them to increase their star level. That is one of the things that makes them better is that they burn stamina slower. But if they are of equal star level, then they're burning stamina at the same pace. The ray itself acts as a normal glider, slowly descending from from wherever you take off at. It does give you a little bit of a boost in height when you first equip it, I noticed, because you can jump off of a flat surface and glide a little bit. The squid acts the exact same way, but the squid goes straight for a little bit before it starts its descent. Of course, arms, once you equip it, it starts to raise up and then it will slowly decline over time. The bird acts just like the ray, except it can glide further, has a larger arm, and it is significantly faster. If you look at these markers here, you can see how much further the ray upgraded to one star went as opposed to its default counterpart, as well as the bird. They both traveled significantly further. The only one that didn't travel too much further than its default 
counterpart was ARMS. The non-upgraded version of ARMS landed right here, and you can see that its one-star version landed right here. It gained about half of the distance that you get for upgrading the Ray or the Bird. From these tests, it's clear that we have two winners, and that is ARMS and the Bird. ARMS is absolutely fantastic for utility. As I stated, you can more or less fly with it. You can use it instead of climbing and it allows you to hang in the air for a superior amount of time. On the flip side, we have the bird. It is not very utilitarian. However, it adds optimal maneuverability. It can be used during battle because you can have a gun or your crossbow equipped while you are using it. However, when you reload your crossbow, you have to let go of the bird in order to reload it, but you can get a single shot off while gliding. If you have a gun, you can get multiple shots off while gliding. You can jump from the ground and glide a significant distance with it if the ground is flat or at a slight decline, which is insanely helpful for when you are in combat because it can allow you to dodge things as well as easily kite your opponent. I also wanted to know if it was faster to use a flying mount to get from one point to another or use the bird. And as you can see from this test here, the bird, while it chews through stamina faster than the flying mount, is significantly faster travel-wise than the flying mount. However, early game, I highly suggest if you want a glider picking up the ray and then the squid as soon as you can unlock them because they unlock at different levels. The squid is a definite upgrade to the ray, but the ray is super handy early on. And it is much better than any of the gliders that you can craft. All right, and that is going to wrap it up for this one. Just a short, sweet video. Hopefully you all found this helpful and informational. If you did, please consider hitting the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other Pal World videos. And if you're looking for some more of my content, you can find a link to another one of my videos on the screen right now. I want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to all of my channel supporters for helping to keep these videos a sponsor free. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to become an official channel supporter, check out the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.